Gordon Brown's emotional rally against the SNP's healthcare lie unveiled. Gordon Brown came close to tears as he spoke about his daughter's death in an emotional speech, in which he rallied against the Scottish National Party SNP's healthcare lie. Former Prime Minister Gordon Brown has launched a new campaign to keep the union together by appealing to the voters of Middle Scotland. Mr Brown said his two-year-old think tank Our Scottish Future was being converted into a campaigning movement. He said it would put the positive, progressive and patriotic case for Scotland in Britain, and urged people to join it. The group will make the case for a reformed UK, Mr Brown said, and target the 40% of Scots who he believes are not strongly committed to either the union or independence. Mr Brown's comments come in the wake of Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon leading the SNP to a landslide fourth term in office on a manifesto pledge to hold another independence referendum. It is not a surprise the former Prime Minister would intervene in the debate. Mr Brown played a prominent role in the lead-up to, and the aftermath of, the 2014 Scottish independence referendum, campaigning for Scotland to stay in the UK. Seven years ago, in a surprisingly personal address to Labour activists in Glasgow, Mr Brown used his NHS connections to dismiss the idea that Scotland's health service was slipping towards privatisation under Westminster rule. He said former Scottish First Minister Alex Salmond's party was not telling people the truth on the subject and urged Scots across the country to nail the SNP lie on the NHS. The speech, branded by some commentators as the most emotional of the referendum campaign, was delivered at the Labour Party's Glaswegian HQ.